MRIs for relapses um, really are not that efficient. We used to do them just as we would do CAT scans and bone scans. But that was a different era. And you need a chunk of cancer that's about a half inch across before they're going to show up on these uh, more traditional scans, which is nothing close to what these PET scans can accomplish. So, so I don't waste too much time with CAT scans, bone scans, and MRIs for trying to ferret out where relapse cancer is located. It can be used to try and confirm or refute if you see a spot on a PET scan. It's not 100% sure that it's cancer. It's very likely to be cancer, but not 100%. And sometimes there's some ambiguity about a lesion, say on the hip or something, and an MRI to confirm or refute that it really is cancer can be quite useful. The CAT scans that are done at the time of PET scan are overread and compared, and they should show some sclerotic changes in the bone. What These are useful confirmatory tests.